Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, I'm going to show review some of the top uh, component libraries uh, that you can leverage in a Webflow in order to speed up uh, your process and uh, structure documents and sites uh, in an easier and faster way. So the very first one is going to come at no surprise, and that is the Realium library. Now, I must say that this is my go-to library whenever I create a new Webflow project since uh, it has uh, a vast uh, array of components. Uh, and uh, the great thing about it is that uh, you can also find uh, a free Figma library with all the Realium components uh, so that uh, you can uh, actually structure a website uh, with uh, the components. Now, of course, uh, some of these are going to be custom made, uh, but it's a great starting point. And uh, as a general note, uh, I like using these libraries, but of course, there's going to be uh, areas where you're going to need to create something entirely from scratch or simply come up with uh, a different uh, um, twist uh, to adapting these libraries. So as you can see over here, we're going to go directly under the component section and uh, you're going to find all sorts uh, of uh, different uh, elements here i assume are going to be the, either the most recent ones uh, or the one in uh, alphabetical number but here is uh, all of the different sections so see that you need to add a contact section i can simply click uh, on uh, the contacts and uh, you're going to find uh, all sorts uh, of uh, different components uh, which are related to that uh, specific uh, label. So this is a great place to start. Uh, and uh, I also really enjoy the fact that you have uh, additional filters uh, to browse for these components. So for example, in, in uh, areas uh, or sections uh, which uh, can be more complex, uh, uh, such as uh, feature sections, there might be all sorts of different feature sections. Uh, you're going to be able to essentially um, select, uh, for example, a layout which is in uh, two columns. And uh, I want to have uh, an image or a video on the left side. So this is going to filter all of the feature sections with uh, that specific criteria, which uh, saves uh, a lot of time whenever you have uh, a specific idea in mind as to what uh, you are looking to. Uh, you can also preview the components directly from uh, this uh, uh, preview icon. And as you can see, uh, it's loading up, <laughs> it's taking a moment, but you can already see that you have the desktop version and also the mobile version. And this is one of the reasons why I love uh, William Library so much is because the responsiveness is already taken care of. So this is a great, uh, great uh, concept overall. Uh, and uh, just my go to, you can simply copy the, um, the component. Of course, it's redirecting to the page since I'm not logged in. But um, yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. You would uh, need to sync up uh, the initial library. And uh, one more reason why I really like it so much is that I can use the Fin Suite uh, client first uh, style guide so I can copy it. And uh, I'm already at home since I use uh, the Fin Suite uh, client first style guide. So that's that. Then uh, I would say the um, another really, really great uh, component library, which uh, I tend to use in pair with uh, the Relume uh, library is uh, Flowbase. Now Flowbase, uh, as you're going to see in uh, just a moment, the moment that we select components, uh, they already have uh, stylized uh, designs uh, so you can see how these uh, aren't uh, really wireframes these are actually um, sections which uh, have uh, actual designs uh, applied on it uh, so we have all the all the visuals already and uh, and this is great in some uh, some instances especially if uh, you already know which type of uh, design you like for example i can select over here the collection uh, of uh, the flow UI. And uh, if, the, if this uh, closely matches uh, the design style that uh, I want, uh, it's uh, going to save a lot of time because I can simply leverage uh, 
components uh, with this exact uh, styling. Now, of course, uh, if uh, you mix and match them, uh, um, the different libraries like I do, at times uh, you're going to need to double check uh, the uh, layering, the classes, and uh, you just want to make sure that uh, all of that uh, aspects are clean uh, in uh, the uh, in the Webflow backend essentially. So uh, just uh, be mindful of that whenever you're mixing uh, classes or different uh, styles. But uh, apart from that, uh, <clears throat> Flowbase it's uh, exceptional. Uh, especially like the the designs uh, or over the top uh, the components uh, you can click them and you can uh, um, copy them in one click and uh, you also have uh, the figma version that uh, you can copy directly into your figma files so it's a really an amazing uh, solution uh, <clears throat> i would say <clears throat> sorry for uh really the most uh, most people out there especially if you're looking for visual uh, components uh, to copy directly in your Webflow projects now another component library which uh, i haven't uh, used uh, on a real project yet uh, but i heard great things about uh, is uh, system flow and uh, a great thing about system flow is that you have uh, the figma library and uh, you can easily copy it into Webflow once you have the components stylized in Figma. I believe you can also use the Figma plugin in order to copy them directly from Figma in one click with all the classes and styles applied. So that is definitely something that I will be really looking forward to. Very big library, so you won't really miss anything. 620 plus classes and styles, 440 components and sections. You also have uh, thousands and thousands of icons and uh, also live components. So overall, uh, it's uh, another great uh, component library, which uh, I highly recommend you to check out uh, if you're looking to speed up uh, and uh, make uh, your Webflow process uh, more efficient. As you can see, you have all the components directly from here. The design is clean, is modern, and uh, overall, uh, such a great uh, addition to this uh, list and um, something that I highly recommend you to check out. Now, let's move on to the next one, which uh, have a particular feature, which uh, uh, I guess uh, uh, it's going to be really appreciated. And that is that uh, this uh, is a free Webflow components library. So you can go on Mosaic and uh, click on Browse Components. And uh, as you can see, you're going to find uh, all of the components uh, which are uh, available right here. And uh, the design overall is it's really nice, really clean, uh, can be easily adaptable to different uh, design styles as well. If uh, this is not exactly the design that you're looking for, you can easily adapt these. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a really nice uh, library that I wanted to add to this list, uh, especially because it's uh, free. So if you don't want to invest in a premium components library, that uh, or uh, charging a monthly fee this is definitely a great uh, place uh, to visit and uh, consider now we're going to leave the list with uh, the last one but not least since uh, this is another really good library and that is uh, flow opponent now you're going to want to check that you're in the Webflow section and essentially over here, you're going to find all sorts of different components for your Webflow projects. You can browse through the different type of components directly on the left. So for example, if I only search for sections, I can see all the um, only sections ones. If I need a hero banner, you can see that uh, again, designs uh, quite modern, quite uh, flexible. I can already imagine uh, changing some of these layouts uh, very easily and adapting them to a specific project. So another great uh, solution and uh, lib a components library that uh, I highly recommend you to check out. So on a final note, uh, all of these components libraries uh, are really useful 
but you always have to consider what is the client goal and how can you create a solution which is tailor-made for your specific client needs and that is going to require all of the previous steps which we discussed in past videos so if you want to learn more about especially design and recent software I'm a designer with uh, over 10 years of experience and I'm sharing my knowledge here for free on uh, this YouTube channel. So if you want to learn more about Webflow design uh, and strategy, feel free to check out the other videos and I'll see you in the very next one.